What's on tap for our conversation today? Well, for today, I'm talking about how rabbits are really a very eco-friendly, green, if you will, animal to raise for me. Um, I'm, I'm, I want to preface that by saying, you know, I'm, I'm not on board thinking that cows and them passing gas are ruining the world or causing climate change or anything like that. that that's not really what this is about. But it is interesting that we live in a world where uh, a lot of people are very reticent, if not downright against eating rabbit, although they'll eat other meats and, you know, grocery store meat and, <clears throat> excuse me, animals that are raised on factory farms in feedlots and, and things like that, which are not ideal and, and do create situations which could contribute to to climate issues or environmental issues. Now, rabbits, it's, it's something you come to learn, and this may be more obvious to you if you've like raised other types of meat animals, but I compare them a lot to chickens because size-wise, time-wise, input-wise, they're more similar to them. And, and the meat is, is similar to chicken, not the same, but similar. So one of the things that you might miss is that things like chickens, raising chicks, especially the chickens that we typically raise for meat now, which are hybridized animals that really are not a very natural chicken, would not survive in the wild, would not reproduce on their own, things like that. They require a lot of utility input. So you have an animal there that is raised using a lot of electricity, uh, heat lamps, things like that, go into those animals, you know, that it increases the expense of raising them because the, the electricity that you're buying and paying for, well, that costs you. It also is a safety issue, um, one that we focus on a lot here. Our chickens are raised in a, a shed with electricity on, outside separate from the barn and separate from the house, but the barn here where the rabbits are, this is actually an attached barn on an old 1901 farmhouse. So for us, we really don't want heat lamps out here at all. Sure, it may feel like there's safe ways to use them, but even the best of us, a lot of us will say that, yeah, we've, we've had issues with heat lamps. I've had chickens knock them down where I've gone out and I was lucky enough to catch it as it was kind of smoldering on the floor, but before it became a fully engulfed fire, I've seen locally quite a few um, incidences where fire departments were called, sheds were lost, and those people were lucky that the, that was not attached to their house or not close enough to their house. So you've got the safety issue, but you've got the energy inputs. Now rabbits, you don't need any utilities. These, these Mothers, I've said it before in other videos, they do a great job controlling temperature. You give them the right materials, the right setup, and even in, in very cold conditions, they're gonna do just fine. And to that, I would add, you know, the feed inputs. <clears throat> I do feed pellets. I wouldn't have to if I wanted to take the time to develop my own feed program, grow more, harvest more, it's nice to know that that's an option. It's something that I'm choosing not to put the time into just because of my workload at this point, but definitely an option. You know, in the manure, the manure is a cold manure. It can come straight out of these pens and go straight on the gardens and orchards. It does. I put them on my elderberries. I put them on my garden straight from here. So I never have a a hot compost pile going on. There's no odor associated with that. I just find them to be be a very low impact, almost a no waste animal because you can use so many parts of the animal, almost all of it, depending on what you want to do, whether you know you're you're using the pelts or you're using the pelts as or, or the hides for dog treats, anything like that. You know, there's there's just a lot of ways to make good, efficient use of the animal. Like I said, almost no impact, you know, their, their waste consists of pellets that whether they're in a tractor outside, they're not harming your ground, doing anything like that. You have no huge waste piles giving off odors and gases and cooking down 
or it can go straight on the garden. So all around for many different reasons, the, you know, they're a good green animal, a good green meat source. And I, I really would love to see people consider that a little more as, as climate issues become more of a concern to them. Like, let's think about how we could maybe vote with our wallets and, and utilize better sources that are greener and cleaner and more in line with what we say we really want to accomplish.